Hey guys! Welcome to my holiday get ready with me! And yeah, so you'll see, it looks like I'm talking a lot. I'm actually singing along to music. And yeah, I could have talked along with while I did this, but honestly, I just like my favorite is when I'm recording and I can just listen to music and you know, do my makeup. I don't know, it's just, I just enjoy it a lot. So this look I actually did when me and my roommate went to go pick up our Christmas tree and it was my first time going to a tree farm and getting a real tree and it was an experience. I got some really cute pictures so yeah and then I decided to record it because it was very Christmassy look I felt like personally. So I just started off with foundation. I believe I used my MAC one and yeah. I'll be mouthing a lot and you can just clearly see I'll be singing, but you know it is what it is. You guys could do this look or like get a little bit of inspiration. It doesn't even have to be all these steps are just basic. I feel like at any makeup tutorial, like the face makeup is always, you know, it is what it is, but the finished look, you can always draw inspiration from it. For me personally, I've seen a lot, like I saw someone do this hairstyle, so I was like, huh, I never thought of that, and now I'm like really into it, like using clips. And yeah, there's powder to set my foundation in. I feel like nobody does that anymore, which is really weird, but I've always done it, like used a face powder. I don't know. I did, don't notice anybody doing it anymore, but I've always used my Fit Me one. And then I do some baking with my banana powder. I'm pretty sure this is called baking, but, you know, I do it. <laughs> I use the Ben Nye banana powder. And I just let that sink in. I just brush through my eyebrows. If you know me, I don't do my eyebrows. Like, I don't fill them in because, I don't know, I just don't. I just don't feel the need to. And, yeah, but whenever I do, the thing I use is at home. My mom uses this MAC one in a brownish shade so I always do that and then I do my eye makeup while I let the powder set in I'm using the Huda palette I don't know which one there's like a bunch of different colors but I showed you earlier I'm just using the reddish maroonish color that's on there I feel like this palette is actually very pigmented and you can see that I feel like it's just really good compared to the James Charles one. I do use a James Charles one, but it just wasn't, it doesn't cut it for me. And then I use some concealer to make the sparkle in it pop. And yeah. And I realized that this one, the sparkle actually did pop that I used from the Huda palette. It is a Huda, right? Yeah, it is. Which was so surprising because I didn't realize that was a problem with the James Charles palette. I thought it was, um, I just wet my brush a little bit to get more product on there. But, um, James Charles one, I didn't realize that was a problem until my cousin, she got it. And I was like, oh, it's a really good palette. She's like, oh yeah, I really hope so. A lot of the reviews say that it's not pigmented enough. And then that got me thinking, I'm like, wait. It's not just me being brown and my skin tone, you know? And and it really hit me because I was like, I use concealer too, but it just does not pop the color for me. And that's what I was excited for, to have like a palette that has so many different colors. I mean, I'll still use it. I do still use the um, James Charles one, but I, I can't do crazy looks with it because the color just doesn't show for me. And that's very upsetting because it's a pretty expensive palette. It's affordable, but still a little bit pricier than <laughs> that fell. <laughs> yep. And then after a little bit, I brush out the Ben Nye powder. You can see, it, you can already see the difference. Like it's a lot more brighter. I think I was looking for my bronzer. Yeah, so I use my 
Morphe bronzer I got from Ipsy. I have yet to get liquid um, bronzer. Is this a bronzer? I always forget the name sometimes. I still have to get the liquid to try how like that plays out. I've only used powder. I feel like that would just give it a way more deeper contour. But it's a nice thing to have. And then I use my Sunbeam by Benefit highlighter. It literally looks like I'm talking to someone. <laughs> Brush that on, and then after that, I use my powder highlighter on top to make it pop even more, which I've been doing for a very long time, and I love it. And I realized it felt like it doesn't look even, but I evened it out. <laughs> yep, and then I'm using my Offer Eye Glutus highlighter on top, you can tell the difference, like it pops it so much more. It's kind of like setting your foundation with a powder, right? And then these Ofra blush, these Ofra things, I didn't even know this brand existed, but I got these for my Etsy bag, so love me some of that. The pink just looks really cute. I feel like blush is such a like winter type of thing. I don't know, it's like when you're cold, your cheeks get pink, and you can do that blush. <laughs> it looks really cute. And then some eyeliner. I use a mascara by MAC and this you guys you can just I'll show you the difference I think I do is crazy it's so good it's one of my favorite mascaras I only use it when I'm doing like a full-on look like my eyelashes are really long and this just like makes them look so fake and I love it <laughs> I love that look like look at how nice they look oh my god I love it I mean, I could be also using fake lashes, but I didn't want to wear fake lashes, so I would suggest wearing fake lashes if you're doing a look like this. Stay hydrated. Keep water near you. Oh, I did black eyeliner on my bottom eyelid. I used to do this all the time. I realized I didn't and I saw a pencil. I was like, wait, I should do that. It makes a difference. <laughs> and makes your eyes really watery. And then time to move on to the hair. Hair section off. I do half of my hair and then half, half up, half down. Clip that up. Heat resistant spray or heat protectant all over. And then I'm just gonna be curling bottom, take down, do the top part I guess. <laughs> I was really hungry and I wanted to eat before I put lipstick on. So I ate the rest of this. It was a acai bowl. It was my first time trying acai bowl. It was very yummy. Yeah it's melted there because I was waiting for it to kind of melt actually. It was the next day. Yeah so I'll just be doing that full, full head. And done, and then section off. So 
up to one side. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of that trend with the hairstyles we had about like four years ago where girls were shaving a little part of their head and I wanted to do it but then I was like mm, no and then it totally just reminds me of that and then just pin it back and then recurl whatever parts didn't seem curled enough this time I didn't have any of my fancy clips but I actually bought some I think on my next holiday glam you'll see that I put that in and then just mess around with the hair figure out what looks good to you hairspray do make it stay in place especially when you flip it to a side that your hair is not used to being at it's always good and then just switched into my fit I wore this off-shoulder um, sweater it's very soft and comfy and yeah and then I realized I forgot to put lipstick on so I'll be putting that on I was deciding what to do. I could, uh, if I had a maroonish, I don't think I could find a maroonish, but they, this is kind of like not even maroon. It's like a different type of reddish, pinkish. Like my eyeshadow looks great with the sweater, but lip, I could not decide. Like that's way too red. So I went for this purplish color. No, I was thinking I decided on that one. Should I? Alright, whatever. <laughs> I think I overlined a little too much. No, no I didn't. That was on the other one. All right, well, this is the finished look. Here's a close-up and me posing. You know how it be. So you can see all the elements that went to making this look. I really loved how it came out. And it just, it's just perfect. <laughs> all right, well, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, stuff, below, and subscribe. Bye, guys.